In the next lecture, we'll speak about more abstract things. So here we're going to review promises and asynchronous programming. So what we're going to see, we're going to start with asynchrony in JavaScript. Then we're going to review callback-oriented programming, which is very often uh, inside databases, and that's what we're going to review in future. For example, if you're dealing with Mongoose, then you'll see there callback-oriented programming. Then we're going to review promises and how we can use uh, ECMAScript 2015 promises. After that, we're going to review async operations with ECMAScript 2015 function generators. So, asynchrony in JavaScript. JavaScript is single-threaded and long-running operations block other operations. That's where asynchronous operations in JavaScript comes in. Basically, these break up long operations into shorter ones, so other operations can squeeze in. It's delaying the execution and also postpone heavy operations to the end of the event loop to give event handlers the ability to respond. Browsers provide some asynchronous APIs like Web Workers, Ajax, uh, Geolocation, CSS string animations, etc. All of the above require callbacks, so functions to call at some point uh, when beginning to do work or after the work is done to transmit values.